Hello everyone, I am Sakit Ghosh and in today's video I am going to show you how I clean up the audio which I use uh, on my videos just like the audio you are seeing now. There are a lot of background noises but I will be editing it and I will be showing you how do I do the process in a software called the WavePad Sound Editor. So uh, if you don't know this software, it's by a company called NCH. I'll leave the download links in the description down below and I'll also try to see if I can get you the keys to activate this. Um, even the free version has almost all of the features that I'll be using today. So I hope uh, that should be fine enough. So now we have the interface of it open. Once you have this, you need to load the audio which you're going to use. So I'll just drop in the an audio I created for another tutorial. And with this, what we could do is the first thing we need to do is normalize this. Normalize as in we need to increase the sound of it because uh, you can see I don't have any mics on my color so uh, I recorded using a smartphone an Android smartphone and uh, I speak from a little far away which means I must use uh, some kind of amplification to rev or increase the volume of it so here we click on the levels tab and click on normalize uh, I don't think you need to do much here, just click on apply, you'll see it all has been normalized and increased. The next thing you need to do is probably zoom into the part where you are not speaking. When you are not speaking, all you need to do is, all of this is noise. So what we could do is, we could use this noise as a reference to clean up everything else. So to do that, all you need to do is select this portion of the noise, go to effects, cleaner, noise reduction, grab noise sample from selected area for special subtraction. Now we have copied this and used this uh, as a reference. Now we need to clean everything else. We will come back to effects to clean up noise reduction. Now you see this option wasn't visible the last option but now that we have a reference we can click on this we have the spectral subtraction based on noise sample once you click that it will do all of the magic all you need to do is wait until it finishes up and once it gets finished you will see the noise has reduced now you still see some of it the next part that we are going to do will show us just that on how to clean up it. Next we need to come back to the cleanup tab, go to noise reduction and go to auto spectral subtraction, let it be however it is, reduce noise. This is the second step remember, we have one more step remaining including uh, which will decrease the clicks and the keyboard typing which you do and The third step would be coming back to clean up click or pop removal go to auto uh, It is a pro version. I'm so sorry for it, but if you have the pro version uh, you can completely do that um, and I think the next part you could do is maybe amplify it a little Maybe where you get these levels a little more, somewhere around 120 should be good enough. And apply. Normalize again so that you don't uh, make too much of noise in these areas where you see the peaks hitting the complete uh, extremes. And once you are finished with that, all you need to do is save this audio. And once it gets saved, you are done. 
I hope this video helped you and if it did please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such uploads and until next time I am Saikud Kosh and I'm signing off.